Hey Pine Wizards, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can make your own custom RSI multi time frame indicator that can tell you about the RSI continuity or the momentum of RSI across multiple time frames. And in the settings here, you can see you can change the time frames to whatever you want, and there are four time frames. So we're gonna program this indicator as we go along in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna take inputs. And since we want to check the RSI value across multiple time frames, the inputs that we're gonna get is the is the length of RSI and the multiple time frames that we want to calculate the RSI on. So our input will be like this, in which we are first getting the RSI length input, then there's time frame one, which is 60 minutes by default. And then there's time frame two, which is 240 minutes, that is four hours, and then daily and then weekly time frame. Now, these time frames are the ones on which the RSI value will be calculated. Now, once we move on to the next part of our script, is to calculate the RSI value at these time frames. So, in order to do that, we're gonna use the request security function, and in request security function, we can call for the information, any information at any time frame that we want. The only thing we have to keep in mind is if our time frame is below one day or daily time frame, then we have to mention that time frame in terms of minutes. For example, one hour would be 60 minutes and four hours would be 240 minutes and so on. So in this case here, we are calculating the RSF1 by calling the request security function because we want to get the RSI value of this security US oil. And then there's siminfo.ticker ID, which is used to return the ticker that is available on the chart because we want this script to work on any chart, any cryptocurrency, any stock, or any Forex pair. So for that, we're going to use that sim on info.ticker ID. And after that, we are mentioning what time frame we want to calculate the RSI on and the function that we will be using to calculate the RSI. For example, here we can see the syntax for request security function is to mention the symbol, the time frame, the expression that we want to use. And then after that, this would be our expression that are we, uh, this is the time frame and this is the expression that we want to calculate. So we are calculating the RSF value at all the time frames that we have taken as input. Now, the next thing is we want the we want to plot this information in terms of a table. And to do that, we're gonna make a custom table here that is gonna have five rows and two columns in which we will be plotting the RSF one, RSF two. For example, here will be RSF one, two, three four and so on and then here we want to call the RSI values and another thing that we want to do is we want to change the color of these cells in which we are plotting RSI values based on if the RSI is overbought or oversold so let me go ahead and write the code for that and the code we're going to use in order to change the color of these cells based on the overbought and oversold conditions we are going to use this function that is color for RSI. And here we're going to pass in the value of the RSI. For example, if we pass in this RSI one, whatever value of this RSI is, it must be between zero to 100. And then if that value is above 70, then we want to assign the color, this color, color red, to the cell in which we will be plotting the RSI value. This will make much more sense once the table is plotted. So Bear with me till then. And if the RSI is oversold, then we want to plot the color of green for the cell. So this is almost all the logic that we had to build. Now we want to plot these values inside a table. And to do that, we're gonna first create the table that is gonna be called RSI table. And here we are giving it a position is equal to position dot top right. And we have two columns and five rows, as I said. and the border red is zero. So our table is gonna be placed here. And there are two columns and five rows, as you can see in this sample here. 
So in the first row, we will be plotting the headings and those headings are the time frame and the RSI value. For example, if I just go ahead and place this here, then if we save it and add this script to the chart, then we will see that we are plotting this here. Now, since this is being plotted in a separate cell, we want them to make this overlay to be true so that we are plotting onto the chart itself. So let me just go ahead and save it and add it to chart. So here you can see the first heading is time frame and the second one is the RSI value. So we will plot the time frames here, the time frame one, two, three, and four, and the RSI values against those time frames in the second column. And the cells, the color of these cells will change based on the RSI value. Because here we define the logic that if the RSI is overbought, then we want the color to be red. And if it is oversold, then we want the color to be green. Now, let me just go ahead and write that code here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. So once we put that code here, and now if I just go ahead and plot the table that we have described, then now you will see it will make much more sense. So here, so here you can see that we have plotted all the values of RSI that we have calculated here in the first column and second row, we are plotting the time period of the first input that we are getting that is one hour that translates into 60 minutes. And at one hour time frame, since we are at 15 minute time frame, but you can see at one hour time frame, the RSI value is 73 at four hour time frame the rsi value is 72 and so on and so forth at daily and weekly time frame we can see so now here you can see we have plotted all this information using table dot cell function and since the table that we created is rsi table so we assign the table id and then after that we give it the index of the cell in which we want to plot the data and here we are mentioning the time frame that we want to plot and after that we are defining the color of this back the background color of these cells based on the rsi value and we want to keep the text color to be white now what we can do is since this script is applied we can go to settings and change these time inputs according to our need for example if we are trading at like 15 minute or five minute time frame we might want to check at the rsi value or rsi continuity at eight hours, four hours, two hour, and hourly time frame. Now, if I click on that, you can see the RSI is pretty consistent in the overbought region. So that's why there is very high likelihood of this price moving in the downward direction because from these indicators, we can see that we are at 15 minute time frame. If we just go to five minute, then you can see that all these indicators are pointing that here the US oil is overbought and that's why there is a high likelihood of it moving in the down direction because the momentum is suggesting that. So this is how you can make your own custom RSI multi time frame indicator in PyScript. We can now apply this to any chart or any symbol that we want to and it will give us exactly what RSI value is at those time frames and we can go ahead and change the RSI length as well for example if we instead of 14 if we want to check the 9 or 21 RSI then here you can see the RSI values will change accordingly now a good assignment that I can give you to practice with this script is to add multiple RSI for example I just put one RSI to be checked. Now you can add a third column and you can mention that time frame, time frame here, and then you can mention two RSI lengths. For example, RSI one length and RSI two length. And then after that here, you can take both those inputs, calculate the RSI at uh, using both those lengths. And in my next video, I'm planning to make RSI crossover multi-time frame indicator that will give us 
clearly if the market is in bullish or bearish momentum and we can use that in our trading as well so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you